No, no, you're talking about subliminal messages and hidden images in Disney films. So the most infamous is the uh, penis-shaped tower on the VHS cover of The Little Mermaid. But I'll bet you didn't see the other cock hidden on that box. Guess what? It's on the crab. And people will tell you the priest in The Little Mermaid, he had a boner. But how did everyone miss Dumbo's dick? The Lion King, you know, it spells sex in the sky. You know, that's debatable. But check out just a few frames later. You know, is that debatable? And you know, there's no two ways about it. Disney's hiding dicks in their flicks. And most people don't catch them. It's very subtle the way they sneak them in. And in every single Disney movie, I'm finding dicks. You know, Peter Pan, 101 Dalmatians. Uh, the Fox and the Hound, uh, more like three cocks on the ground. And you have to wonder who's drawing all these dicks. I was an uh, animator at Disney for a lot of years. Dickhead animator. I was in charge of drawing the top part of the dicks. My first gig was... Uh, Tarzan animated feature. So I'm sitting there one day and the boss comes in and he says, uh, he says, I mean, I need you to draw something for me. I said, what do you need me to draw? He says, uh, Tarzan's dick. And I said, what? He says, I need you to draw Tarzan's dick for me. I said, you know, that's not my job. And he says, uh, I don't care. That's your job now or else you don't have a job. I still don't know why to this day they want me to draw dicks, but, uh, I guess I just don't give a fuck, you know? You know, it's an ongoing process. You know, so long as there's dicks in Disney movies, I'm going to find them. Yeah, I'm not going to stop until I've seen everything.